Howdy, this is David Gross, your Texas Tax and Lawman. At long last, the lockdowns and restrictions from COVID-19 are finally lifting and America is going back to work. On July 4th through 9th, my family joined a mission trip to plan a new church in Harlem. It was an awesome trip where we enjoyed meeting new people, exploring New York City, and learning more about our wonderful nation. We learned about the famous abolitionist, Frederick Douglass, who powerfully argued against slavery and famously gave us a great metaphor to think about civil society. He said a man's rights rest in three boxes, the ballot box, the jury box, and the cartridge box. As Americans, you and I enjoy the unalienable rights granted by our creator and enshrined in our founding documents, the rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We secure these rights by making our voices heard through the power of free and open elections we place in the ballot box. If we do not like our government or elected representatives or the direction of our nation, we have a right to a peaceful revolution every two, four, and six years. Beyond the right to choose our leaders, our freedom from government encroachments and abrogation of our rights also come from the constitutional guarantee of a trial by a jury of our peers, the jury box. I just finished John Grisham's latest novel, A Time for Mercy, that reminds us all of the power of our adversarial system and the duty of the government to prove our wrongdoing and overcome our presumption of innocence. Picking a jury to decide the facts is our guarantee of a free and impartial hearing. And finally, our last stand against criminals and overreaching government is the right to self-defense and the right to keep and bear arms enshrined in the Second Amendment of the Constitution. That's the ammo box. I pray we never have to use that one. With all of this said, we still live in a representative republic. Our social contract is based on the notion that we are all contribute to our mutual well-being by paying taxes that secure our national defense, our court systems, our interstate commerce, our intellectual property rights in the Patent and Trademark Office, and the ability to communicate freely through our postal system. None of us want to pay tax. None of us want to pay more taxes than we have to pay, but that is the responsibility of all free citizens. The burden of a government, of the people, and for the people. This brings us to our tax update. As the fear and threat of COVID-19 pandemic subsides, the wheels of government have begun to spin. The IRS announced that it would start collection activities again on July 15th. If you owe back taxes or have failed to file your taxes, summer is a great time to get on it. A 2020 business extension only buys us until September 15th, and the personal extension runs out October 15th. Also, the IRS has now taken the position that if you are due a refund on prior year returns, you only have three years from the date of filing to claim that return. That means if you have paid taxes but not filed, the IRS can keep your money for tax years beginning in 2017 and going backwards. 2017 was due 415 of 18. If you file an extension, you got to October 15th. If you have not filed that return and claimed the refund or tax payment by October 15th of this year, the IRS will keep your money. Long story short, file your taxes now and make sure you claim all your tax payments and withholding. Our team is standing by and ready to prepare your returns. Shoot us an email or give us a call before it's too late. Until next time, adios. Texas Tax and Lawman Legal Disclaimer. Hey, I'm a lawyer. You know I have to have some lawyer mumbo jumbo. This is a general information video not client attorney privilege information. The content is information only and is not directed to any specific facts or circumstances and cannot be relied upon as a legal opinion, even though that would be nice and save you a trip to the lawyer. If you have a specific legal question, feel free to contact David Gross directly or seek qualified legal or tax counsel in your state of residence, state of mind, or whatever place you call home.